Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to talk about the gaming performance of the Redmi Note 10. So many of you have been asking us how good is the Snapdragon 678 chipset on the Redmi Note 10 and uh, this is one of the newer chipsets uh, uh, announced by Qualcomm. So Snapdragon 678 is a successor of the popular Snapdragon 675. So we had seen the 675 on uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note uh, 7 Pro actually. So that was a really good performing chipset. Now we have uh, the successor of the Snapdragon 678 uh, in this price segment. So how good is the Redmi Note uh, 10 in terms of gaming experience? So we'll be playing uh, two games as Fold 9 and uh, uh, COD Mobile. And uh, then we'll see how good the experience is, what are the graphic uh, options it provides. Then the battery drain and also uh, the uh, heating if any on this device. So that's what we are going to do in this gaming test. So before going to the gaming test, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So we are going to start the gaming test of the Redmi Note 10. So we have the Redmi Note 10 with us, the base variant. Uh, this is uh, the device uh, which uh, was launched uh, along with the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max and the Pro version. Now we'll just go to the settings and we'll show you the options. So about phone, you can see uh, MIUI version 12.0.1. Uh, that's the latest version of this. Android 11 is there and uh, Redmi Note 10 can be uh, seen here. Then uh, let's go to the all specs. You can see a 6 gigabyte RAM. It's not a base variant as such. Uh, 4 gigabyte RAM variant is also included. So we have the 6 gigabyte RAM and uh, you can see that android 11 is uh, the one uh, which is running on this device so uh, we'll be uh, doing the gaming test so before that uh, let's check the temperature so 32.5 degrees 32.8 almost 33 degrees so that's the temperature the normal room temperature is also around 32 33 degrees so that's uh, the temperature the back panel temperature is again uh, around 32 33 degrees so there you go. Now next uh, let's uh, see the battery as well. So you can see here now, right now 61% battery. So 61% battery is there. Now let's start the gaming. So first uh, we'll uh, play Asphalt 9.
So now we are done with uh, asphalt uh, 9. Let's see the temperature. So you can see here it's uh, almost uh, crossed 40 degrees. So 40.1. So that's the temperature towards the camera section. Uh, it's again 40.1. So not more than that as of now. Now let's uh, have a look at the display. Display is uh, definitely higher. You can see here uh, towards the uh, camera area, selfie camera area. It's gone up to 42.7. So definitely on the higher side, uh, bottom display, uh, bottom section of the display does not heat up much. Now top section definitely has some heating. Uh, it has crossed 42.7. So almost close to 43 degrees. So that's the temperature. It has gone up uh, definitely on the higher side. Now uh, Asphalt 9 played uh, quite well on this device. Uh, it's kind of a budget device around priced around uh, 12,000 rupees. So for that price segment, we feel this is kind of decent experience. We occasionally we did see some uh, stutters and uh, frame skips happening but that is uh, more or less expected at a budget segment uh, overall uh, the graphic quality was quite okay for the 12k price segment and the snapdragon 678 did a quite a decent job altogether now we do not see any major lag and uh, major heating issues as of now now next uh, is uh, the cod mobile let's uh, uh, see how the experience is what are graphic option it offers so let's open cod mobile so here you can see that uh, the graphic quality very high is available uh, max is also included uh, if you are selecting max frame rate uh, the graphic quality is high and if you want a high uh, graphic very high graphic quality the frame rate is uh, kind of uh, very high so we'll play with uh, max graphics and uh, in between we'll also switch to uh, very high uh, graphic quality as well so right now we have set a uh, frame rate to max now let's uh, play a couple of games here so first let's uh, do a multiplayer game So here you can see that it was not the very smoothest experience, uh, it was kind of lagging at times. So with the higher frame rate it is kind of lagging. So you can actually see some lag happening here with higher frame rate. 
so what we'll do is uh, we'll just uh, go here and uh, graphic uh, we'll uh, switch to we have changed the frame rate right now so we we'll, let's see how it works now Still you can see that it is lagging with the uh, COD mobile. Here and there it is lagging. So again you can see that it is lagging here. Using now. So not the best experience. So what we'll try to do is I uh, will just uh, reduce the graphic quality one more. It's not continuously uh, actually lagging but then uh, occasional lag is there here. So here again you can see it's lagging. So what I'll just uh, change the graphic quality here. I'll set it to high now. Let's see with high. So right now let's just take check the temperature. So it has gone up to 46.3 degrees so that is definitely on the higher side so you can uh, see the temperature it has gone up to 46 degrees uh, almost close to 46 degrees so there you go you can see here it's uh, above 45 degrees and uh, the temperature rise is definitely on the higher side you can see here towards the camera area it's uh, uh, above 45 degrees the back panel is in that much uh, it's around 41 42 closer to 42 degrees so you can see here uh, it is just a 42 on the back panel uh, but uh, on the display area it's definitely above 45 degrees so around half an hour of gaming and uh, you can see that the battery drop is around uh, 9 percentage from 61 it has dropped to uh, around uh, 52 percentage that's uh, almost 9 percentage drop in half an hour of gaming so battery drop is in high but then uh, asphalt date played quite well but uh, cod mobile you could see that it was lagging a bit and uh, not not in fact not a bit it was lagging uh, a lot uh, in the uh, battle royale and uh, you could actually uh, feel that uh, it was not playing really well and the temperature rose to almost close to 46 degrees so so overall we feel this is definitely not a device for gamers uh, at least in this price segment because uh, the, it was kind of lagging with COD mobile and also uh, the heat generated was definitely on the higher side so that is the gaming performance sets, heating and battery drain on the Redmi Note 10. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.